Hello friends. Now, today we are going to discuss about the employee engagement and what all things you need to know about how we can retain the employees. So I'm going to tell you a few techniques and few myths which I'm going to clear you. Uh, this slide is actually prepared by officewipe.com. These people are really very experts in employee retention. So uh, let us begin friends with the very important topic of employee engagement. The problem with the employee engagement is that I'll tell you the fact that 87% of the employees are not actually engaged in the jobs you know it is actually the survey which was made and it has shown that 87% of the employees are really not engaged in the job which they are working you know now you'll ask why they are working you know very simple to earn money honey so and if when they are not truly involved in what they are doing then for what they are they're wasting the time you know of the companies also and uh, they are not being more productive so as far as the uh, business mind people are concerned i'm going to tell you that how we can try to engage these employees and earn a lot of productivity from them from them so the, here are some i think i'll show you the 10 pillars of the employee engagement and how to improve them so let us begin with the first First is relationship with the managers. It is uh, the survey which was actually done and it said that 75% of the people don't quit their job. They don't quit their job. They actually are going to quit their boss. So many people quit their boss because your boss is not always right. It is a matter of the fact that many people quit their boss. Now, it is very important that boss should be perfect. Boss should be good and what all qualities he should be having in order to retain the employees. That is also very important. So that we will be uh, having in a different slideshow presentation. So how we can improve is nothing but we have to coach, we have to get the feedback and we have to provide the opportunities to develop. Now, what coaching you have to do? Coaching is you have to do how to handle stress for the employees which are already working, stress of whom, stress of boss. That how to handle that situation so that even if the boss pressurizes the people who are working under him, they will uh, not, uh, you know, uh, they will not leave the job. You know, they will be try to always engage on the uh, work which they are doing. Second is always try to get the feedback from the employees, uh, what they are doing. Uh, there should be a feedback system, you know, in the employees. Uh, there should be some kind of questionnaire set which can be asked by the uh, website each and every day before leaving the job uh, to collect the feedback. And you know, if there are any kind of problems, you know, that can be handled by the senior of that boss. If there is a hierarchy in the company, for example, this is a MD, this is CEO, this is HR manager, and these are various project partners and all that, you know. There should be some system that if there is something here, then that can be reported to this person also who is sitting out here. So if there is kind of feedback system, you know, it can uh, lead to the better opportunities in the future also. So this is a chance to improve. And uh, second is about the happiness, you know, happy workers are 12% more productive. So you should always try to bring out, this is the second solution for engaging the worker that uh, you should bring out some happy atmosphere in the company. And uh, how can happy atmosphere be brought in the company? So first we have to respect the employees who are working. Second, you have to ask their ideas you know respect the employees means what so there should be you know if if there is some uh, senior person and another is a junior then junior should always give respect to the senior is not the matter of fact senior should be giving respect to juniors also so you know there should be coordination of respect you should respect one so that you know in order to, in order to get respect you know there should be no fights 
uh, in the company so that the environment is positive and environment is productive you have to ask for the ideas of the employees uh, if you know people uh, always think that they have got the brighter ideas in order to develop the company so uh, if you ask their ideas if you uh, imply that ideas that is well and good if you don't imply just ask the ideas uh, let them uh, show whatever talent they are having and also try to show the genuine concern you know people are much concerned you know that that that's a fact of empathy you know you have to share empathy if you're a boss so in order to have the employee retention that yeah you have thought quite good so this is kind of concern which we are showing to our employees so that will help us in employee retention fourth is about the wellness you know uh, many of the employees we have seen that they are uh, they take the sick leaves you know and uh, you know a, a company should come up with some of the wellness programs uh, yeah, it should uh, try to give some physical exercise to the uh, employees who work on the desk so some part should be given uh, to them you should provide some healthy snacks not the junky foods uh, if there are some meals which are offered uh, in the company canteen provide some healthy snacks at 4 pms uh, you know if uh, tea is being served don't try to serve the tea with the uh, milk i think lemon tree or uh, lemon tea or uh, green tea would be good so try to s serve some healthy snacks which would actually be helpful uh, instead of uh, giving coca cola or pepsi you know um, lemon juice would be good or uh, you know milkshake milkshake would be good yeah, this, this is a kind of healthy snacks which can be helpful you can, uh, companies can also provide uh, some gym membership kind of program uh, you know with the car, with the, if the employees are staying in some apartments which are quite closer to the company they can come up with and they can tie up a gym which is quite closer to them and uh, they can have the working environment in gym uh, which will actually uh, keep their health quite good if the health is good you know productivity actually comes out so this research has shown that 12% uh, employees become productive uh, and the most important is about the fourth factor is company's alignment you know the way the employees align themselves with the company's core values has direct effect on bottom line profits you know core values are very important you know every company has got its own core values so employees need to adjust with that core values if the employees don't adjust with that core value employee retention becomes quite difficult so this is very important task of aligning the employees with the core values of the company so how we can do that uh, we have to time and again uh, repeat what are the core values of the company we have to coach the employees from the existing employees to the new employees to the fresher employees which are working second thing is that we can inspire the mission you know teach employees what is the vision of the company where the company wants to go and where the company is now and where the company wants to grow and how we can achieve that goal inspire the people who are working around you you know motivate them so that is kind if you are motivated if your team is motivated then the retention is quite good so my dear friends in order to retain properly uh the employees should come up and you know retention factor quite plays a very important role you know so this is going to be helpful uh i think you should stay tuned to my next video to watch few more qualities to come uh just part two of this will show you uh, more details about the employee engagement program which we have discussed uh, from the fifth slide of workplace satisfaction thank you